If you are unsure whether you are a narcissist, ask yourself, do you experience a high sense of self-importance? Do you think you are unique and deserve special treatment? Do you constantly seek admiration from others? Is your mind preoccupied with never-ending success, power, or beauty? If you find yourself saying yes to all of the above questions, you are definitely a narcissist. And this is what narcissism really is. Join us as we discuss in detail other signs of narcissism for you to figure it out quickly if you or somebody else is one. If you know you are a narcissist, you can fall into one of the two categories, overt narcissism or covert. What are they? How different are these from each other? Let's have a look. Overt narcissism. When you picture a narcissist, you think of someone who seeks attention, is overconfident, and feels superior to others. This is overt narcissism, which is a more obvious type of narcissism. People of this kind feel good about themselves and are less likely to have emotions like sadness, loneliness, etc. And being the center of attention is their most loved thing. Overt narcissists are easy to spot as they possess all the traits related to narcissism. Covert narcissism. Being a more silent and subtle form of narcissism, the covert type is more dangerous as they are hard to spot. Unlike overt narcissism, people of these kinds are insecure and fragile, giving you fake apologies to earn your affection. You'll never realize who they are, even if they sit beside you, as they play a victim card very well. Signs of Narcissism Number 9. Have High Self-Esteem There is always a person in your life that tries to put you down to bring them up or a boss that hates being corrected. This is a narcissist, so full of themselves. It's their ego that makes them do this. A narcissist is always egoistic, but an egoist is not always narcissistic. A narcissist suffering from ego set themselves apart from the crowd and ensures they remain on top. They always want to be on the top of the list where they feel safest. Egoistic narcissists show love for themselves and place themselves in the center of the world. It's always a me and I situation and not caring that others also matter. If criticized, they can react by becoming angry and defensive. Number eight, seek appreciation while being the center of attention. Praise, praise, and more praise. Who doesn't like to be the center of attention? We all do at some point in our lives, right? But narcissists always want them to be the main focus everywhere. They seek too much attention that they want others to admire them. This is because they have an unreasonably high sense of their importance and become disappointed if they are not given the praise or special treatment they expect. No matter how much attention they receive, it will not be enough for them, and they are never satisfied. When narcissists don't get it, they react with an angry outburst or a narcissistic rage. They want themselves to be the star of the show. Number seven, giving unwanted advice. Recommending the best places in town to dine in or sharing your wisdom about parenting and giving parenting tips may sound helpful. But did anybody ask you for these pieces of advice? Giving free tips and advice is what a narcissist usually likes, as they have a superiority complex and feel on top of others by sharing their superior knowledge. Number six, sense of entitlement. You might have seen people demanding a particular seat in a restaurant or not wanting to wait in long queues while everyone does. This person has a high level of entitlement and thinks they are superior to others and are more important than others. This is what a narcissist believes. They want special treatment and feel they deserve more respect, money, or other resources than everyone else. Although we all feel a little bit of entitlement at some point in our lives, like on birthdays or when we have reached a specific milestone, we all want a little extra attention or deserve a particular treatment or reward for our achievement. On the other hand, 
A narcissist will feel entitled all the time, irrespective of whether or not they deserve something extra or are seen as worthy to receive such treatments. Individuals with a high level of entitlement believe everything on earth belongs to them and want everything for themselves. They want to rule the world. Number five, grandiosity. It's always me before you. You can quickly identify a grandiose narcissist if someone usually brags about their accomplishments, shows off their expensive cars, homes, or clothes, or expects special treatment all the time. These individuals only want to associate with special people as they think they are superior and distinctive from others. Grandiose narcissists are so confident in their intelligence and leadership abilities that they may perform worse than others. In relationships, they will act as if they are the most devoted or attentive friend or spouse, while in reality, they are the most dominant ones, and the focus of the relationship will be solely on them. Number four, you are competitive. A narcissistic life revolves around winning and losing. Whether at the office or any sports court, a narcissist must win in every situation to make themselves superior to somebody else. They find it hard to celebrate other people's success, to prove their dominance, and to remain on top of others. If someone else achieves what they want, it makes them feel inferior. Everything a narcissist does is about competing with others. This could be with their colleagues in the office, friends, or even family members. Even a simple conversation with a narcissist can become a competition, as winning is all that matters to a narcissist. Number three, sudden outburst of anger. Narcissistic rage is an angry outburst of an individual due to multiple reasons such as not getting special treatment, not being the center of attention, or any form of criticism that a narcissist cannot tolerate. Reaction to the rage can vary from verbal to physical abuse. This is a reaction to negative feedback or when their needs are not met, which causes great discomfort. This is because narcissists cannot accept any negativity related to them as they have an exaggerated sense of their importance. They want others to give them constant admiration and appreciation. Number two, blame others for their mistakes. How easy is it to blame others for your mistakes? It's actually easier for a narcissist than a normal human being. It's fine if everything goes exactly their way, but if the results are against them, or when things don't go according to their plan, it's when their blame game starts. They never want to be responsible and place all the blame elsewhere. A victim is mostly the one who is most emotionally close to him, as he is the safest person to blame. For a narcissist, it has to be someone else's fault every time and not his. A blame game is one of the most enjoyed games by a narcissist. And one, controlling behavior. Do you find yourself stuck in a cycle with someone, or are you controlled by one? No doubt, a narcissist is the most dangerous person on earth. Controlling behavior is something that a narcissist desperately wants. They want to have control of everything in their life and mold it to their liking. They want to control everything to such an extent that they have everything planned about what each character should be saying and doing. This is the reason that makes the relationship suffocate as the narcissists want to control who, where, and when in every situation and the victim's thoughts, feelings, and needs. You are nothing more than a tool to him that they use to improve their lives and they want to rob your independence in every way. That's it for today. If you find yourself or someone you know experiencing more than a few of these traits, you have definitely encountered a narcissist. What qualities other than these do they possess? Let us know below. Take care and see you soon.